I just received this one in the mail with a very interesting article on how to relieve bloating and constipation. So we're gonna cover that article and challenge it a bit here. So if you don't know me, I'm Anne, the little French in Big Texas. Welcome to my channel. So leading medicine. So this is coming from the Houston Methodist, which is one of the largest uh, hospital group in Houston, the second largest. So pretty renowned, top notch in terms of medicine. So what do they tell us? Home remedies for constipation. So I like the first ones. The first ones. The first one is to eat enough fiber. So I think we all know it. We need to have a healthy diet. Fiber is part of the diet. So you've got foods that have a higher fiber content. So what are they? Beans and lentils. Fruits, not all fruits, but certain fruits in particular, like kiwi, prunes, avocado, berries, pears, and apples. Nuts and seeds. So here it's gonna be almonds, pistachio, chia, flax seeds. Certain veggies have more than others. So that's gonna be the squash, the broccoli, mushroom, kale, and spinach. Very good. And whole grains. So quinoa, whole wheat pasta, oatmeal, and barley. All right. So first thing, we need to eat enough fiber, number one. Number two, we need to drink plenty of water. So that's also part of a healthy body, healthy diet. You need to stay hydrated. It's good for your body, for your skin. We all know it, drink water. So besides the water itself, you can drink tea, coffee, milk, all this is yeah, liquid. It gets absorbed. You also have to take into account the water that comes from the food you eat. Meaning if you eat chips and burgers, you probably won't get too much water. But if you go back to number one with the fiber and you eat fruits, vegetables, yes, you get a lot more water. So it's a mix of the food you eat and the drinks. Knowing that alcohol does not count as a drink because it's actually bad and uh, bad, bad for the hydration. You need to drink twice as much if you drink alcohol. So all good for the first two, fiber, water, the third one as well, Kind of logical here you need to exercise regularly physical activity such as walking is critical for preventing constipation as it stimulates your gut to move adults should ideally get at least 150 minutes of exercise per week so all this is all good all natural and i like the last word they is they used here helping your gut to move, because it's all about the guts at the end. You need to keep your guts healthy. Unfortunately, that article does not go any further into the guts, which is kind of surprising here. Then we go into the medicine. Use an osmotic laxative to help soften the stool. So you get into a polyethylene glycol. Okay, all these are not so natural when you go down here. Take a stimulant laxative for quicker relief. All right, so that's gonna be all the over-the-counter medicine that we know you go to uh, your local pharmacy, you get an over-the-counter laxative to help. Either it softens or it's a very quick relief, <laughs> you, you go running. And then the last one is, well, if it doesn't work, you go and see your doctor for more tests and probably heavier medicine. That kind of left me disappointing here because it completely fails to mention how you can improve your guts. And the other natural over-the-counter vitamin you can take. But first, guts. So we need to keep our guts healthy. Different ways to do it. I mean, eat probiotics, like what you can have in the kombucha, for instance, fermented food is excellent for your guts. Another way is to eat yogurt. You've got some yogurts that are extremely rich in probiotics, bacteria that are good bacteria for your guts. So you have different options here. Look around, find research how to keep healthy guts without going right away to the pharmacy to get over the counter laxative. Try the guts first, something natural. And then an additional help, if that's not enough, is to take magnesium. So magnesium is natural. That's something that's good for your body that you can find in water, for instance, but not always enough. So you can supplement. And one 
I have examples here, you've got different form of magnesium. Here is magnesium glycinate, which is very well absorbed by the body, which is really good if you've got cramps, which was my case actually when I exercise and I swim, I have cramps, so I do take magnesium glycinate, but this is not the best to relieve constipation. The best actually is to go for magnesium oxide, which does not get absorbed that much by the body, but helps relieve your digestive tract. And this is not mentioned in the article. So this is natural, you know. I got the trick a while back talking to a nutritionist and telling her about my cramps and she connecting the dots, you know, saying, well, you're missing magnesium. So I would recommend you try magnesium. It's gonna help with the cramps, help constipation, help everything, you know. And in addition, keeping the guts healthy at the same time, is just a breeze without having to go to uh, the pharmacy, thank you to the Houston Medicist uh, leading medicine here to get uh, chemicals uh, to put in your body and um, relieving the stools. So that one got me a bit disappointing. I mean, you've got a good start, some of the basics, and then it goes straight into the medic medicine um, industry, which uh, yes, it's gonna work, but is there another way more natural better for your body to do it so if you have other ideas other remedies something that worked for you and i have not mentioned in this video please put in the comments below always interesting to uh, learn some uh, tricks here uh, on how to help uh, and stay healthy and as always if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well thank you all for watching